One of the amazing things about Trinidad and Tobago is its natural and iconic beauty. Such a case is the Blanchichez Spring Bridge. It is such an iconic feature of Blanchichez. No road to Blanchichez can be complete without a visit to this bridge. I don't necessarily do paintings of iconic scenes, but they inspire my paintings. So, here we are on the road to Blanchichez. I find myself in this, in this location, which in my mind, it's as though I'm already in a painting. It's already in my mind as if I have stepped into one of my paintings. And I am just embellishing what is already around me. If you think further about it, and I, I, I talk about this all the time, that God is the ultimate artist. Because as you look around, you'd see how perfectly placed everything is in nature and that's what I endeavor to accomplish in my paintings which is why I, I like details. I feel like when I come to locations like this even though I may not paint exactly what we see around this particular location or wherever I am but it certainly is the core source of inspiration in my work. It informs my work I should say. So even when you kind of stop and really look at the scene, people always ask, you know, your paintings always have, seem to have like this V, this V shape in, in the paintings. But look, when you sit and observe and what, what you're seeing, the, the way the embankment is on both sides of the river, it forms that natural V. You know, the way the, the light comes from behind the trees, it, the break in the forest creates that V. So it, it exists. You know, I just copy where it is in nature and put it in a painting. It's, it's really an exercise for me when I'm out here painting like this because this process is completely um, different from my in-studio painting process. So here I'm just holding the brush differently, holding it much further back and applying the paint in a much harsher manner than I would typically at home. So what I'm trying to do is just really work fast and, and capture all of these colors that I'm seeing around me and, and shapes that I'm seeing around me right now here on the Marian River. So I, I don't travel around with a full complement of um, paint when you go and paint on location. So if it is that you don't have um, a particular color, so I'm looking for something to do the water. So it needs to be a little more, I need to get it a little more yellow. So I'm going to use some cadmium yellow medium. Both of my parents were painters, both landscape painters, and obviously both using the, North, the Northern Range as their core source of inspiration. So I grew up, I grew up in this environment. I looked at my parents painting and it's as though it's like looking at the evolution of man in a way because my father's my father's style my mother's style and my style have a relationship so it's as though I have perfected what I have learned from them I have I have fine-tuned it and the niche that I have, I have made for myself is painting in a small and miniature format I get into the painting into the scene and it's as though the scene is life-size around me as it is here you know, as the trees are towering around me, when I'm painting with my triple zero brush or my four zero brush, and I'm that tight inside of a scene, I feel as though I'm really very big. And I am very small in this very big landscape. You know, one of the things about painting in this space, and in the Northern Range in particular, is the fact that this is where the spirit of my father exists, lies, you know. Before he died, he said one of, his, one of his wishes was that his ashes would end up in the Northern Range. And because of where he died, um, that wasn't possible at the time. And the morning after he died, I was flying to Barbados. And as the plane took off above the Northern Range, 
I looked out and it was a perfect January morning. The weather was spectacular. And I looked out and I saw the hills and I knew, I felt it, I felt that tingle from, from the tip of my toes to my head that his spirit had soared and found itself in the Northern Range. And every single time that I come here and I see like the blue emperor butterfly somewhere or I just feel its presence, this place is, this place is very spiritual and, and soulful and I know that, that he's here and he, he drives my work. So today I was out in the, in the river, in this big open space, and I spoke about uh, being in my studio and the three walls that surround me. And it's three walls because the fourth wall is this amazing view. But even though there's energy from the city, there is soul and there is spirit from the Northern Range. That's fuel to my soul. And that's what um, really allows me to come home and come to my studio and apply all of that to my work. As you can see, I'm currently working on my exhibition, uh, which consists of many uh, small paintings, but I'm also exploring some bigger canvases. Uh, the exhibition is at the 101 Art Gallery, and it's a self-managed show, which means that I'm doing everything for it. Uh, it opens on Friday, the 20th of September, so hopefully, there will be no disturbances and I will have a good painting session in my studio and I will see you when I see you. <laughs>